Sinn Féin enter all party talks after signing up to Mitchell principles on non-violence. John Bruton threatens no confidence motion in Ray Burke unless satisfied with tomorrow's Doyle statement. Overcrowding blamed for last night's capsizing of Modern Ferry off Haiti. Good evening. Sinn Féin leader Jerry Adams today committed his party to supporting exclusively peaceful politics when he affirmed the Mitchell principles at a preliminary session of the Stormont talks. The principles commit the party to resolving political issues by democratic means, to the disarmament of paramilitary groups and to verifying this to an independent commission. It also must disavow violence, including in the event of the party disagreeing with the outcome of the talks. Finally, it has agreed to help to end punishment attacks. Unionists, though, said the exercise was a charade and stayed away. Sinn Féin delegations at Stormont no longer raise any eyebrows, but today the party's negotiators, again including former prisoner Martin Ferris, were there to make a commitment of real significance, affirming the six principles which effectively bind the party to exclusively peaceful means of resolving political differences. I think that it is a defining moment. I certainly think that it is important that for the first time since the partition of Ireland that the two governments are coming together and that all of the parties are invited to participate in working out our future and from our point of view that the issue of the union, of partition itself, of Irish unity and of all the substantive issues are going to be on the agenda. So I do think that it is a watershed uh, I believe the prospects today are better than they have been at any time since I have been involved uh, in Northern Ireland, and that is a period of approximately two and a half years. Uh, as I said earlier uh, in my opening remarks, this is the first time in the modern history of Northern Ireland that there has been in place at the same time both negotiations and a ceasefire. Firm the Mitchell principles today. Jerry Adams formally agreed the principles on behalf of his party. But unionists weren't impressed. They stayed away, saying the exercise was a charade. Fringe loyalists, too, boycotted today's meeting, angry that their ceasefire hadn't brought prison concessions. But for John Hume, dialogue remained the only way forward. Well, they don't seem to have any difficulty in sitting in local councils with Sinn Féin. And therefore, uh, if they can do that, why can't they come and do a much more important job which is to get into dialogue to produce lasting stability and lasting peace for all our people. The Irish government was represented by Ray Burke, who warmly welcomed Sinn Féin's commitment. He too said it represented a watershed. But comments by Mr Burke in a Belfast evening newspaper are likely to anger unionists tonight. He said his aim was a united Ireland. Mr Burke, though, said everybody should be around the table and he looked forward to a referendum north and south of the border next year. This process goes far beyond just about um, internal solutions in Northern Ireland. It equally goes into the relationships between North and South, and it's very important from the point of view of the nationalist community and also from the business community and others that there be um, um, bodies with executive powers to deal with certain functions um, in the relationship between the North and South. And the relationship between the British and Irish governments, Dublin and London, is equally important. So it's right and proper that the people of the Republic have a view in relation to their future, as well as the people within Northern Ireland. While Sinn Féin may have stepped into the process today, there's now less certainty about the intentions of the smaller fringe loyalist parties. And much depends on the meeting of the Ulster Unionist Party's Executive Council at the weekend. With President Robertson...